When Sonic Superstars was announced, people were excited not just for a brand new 2D Sonic game, but the return of a fan-favorite character who hasn't been seen in years, Fang the Hunter. Whether you're a new fan or even an old one who happened to miss his previous appearances, let's get you up to speed on this classic character. His first appearance was all the way back in 1994 in the Game Gear title Sonic Triple Trouble. Look, see? He's one of the Troubles. In this handheld adventure, Fang was after the Chaos Emeralds, and could be found at the end of special stages waiting to do battle with Sonic. However, he didn't want them for their power, but so he could sell them for a hefty profit. He was designed by a Japanese artist who goes by the name of Toma. They actually held a contest in a magazine where you could submit potential names for the character, and Fang was eventually chosen. Just think, you could have named this super cool character if you were a Japanese youth in 1994 who read gaming magazines. So who is Fang? He's a very mysterious and shady character who's been known by many names over the years, and there's a lot we don't know about him. For example, where did he come from? And where did he get such a stylish hat? Well, what do we know about Fang? He's a bounty hunter, a wanted criminal, some might even call him a villain. But Fang isn't after world domination or anything. He's motivated purely by money. He just really wants to get his hands on those precious Chaos Emeralds. And I mean, can you blame him? Those things are pretty cool, not to mention valuable. For Fang, it's nothing personal. He's just doing his job. I mean, sure, he's working with the evil Dr. Eggman, but that's because he was hired to do so. Maybe Sonic should have hired Fang not to steal the Chaos Emeralds. Ever think of that, Sonic? Instead of running around everywhere on foot like some people, you can usually find Fang piloting his beloved vehicle, the Marvelous Queen. And it would really get a chance to shine in his next major game appearance, Sonic Drift 2, a racing game for the Game Gear. Apparently he's constantly modifying and upgrading it, which would make sense considering how many different weapon attachments it had back in Triple Trouble. It's a vehicle which complements his mischievous nature well. His special ability in Sonic Drift 2 was throwing oil balls onto the track which caused his opponents to spin out. Even if you do manage to corner Fang without his vehicle, he's not going down without a fight. He was able to show off his moves in the arcade title Sonic the Fighters, He's got his trusty pop gun and is ready to blast his enemies with corks. He just better be careful not to let anyone else grab it. He's also known to bounce around on his springy tail as well as using it in combat. Watch out for his powerful kicks. All in all, he's a perfectly competent fighter who can hold his own, but he'd much rather ambush his foes with traps and tricks rather than fight them head on. Some people might say he also has a cowardly side, like when he runs away instead of fighting in Atomic Destroyer Zone Act 3 but I like to think of this as a strategic retreat on his part. In the first special stage, instead of fighting you as a boss, his own trap backfires on him and he makes a speedy exit. Anyways, things were looking good for Fang. He had multiple game appearances under his belt, and he even had his own plush toy. It was a great time to be a Fang fan. Then, tragedy struck. He was scheduled to appear as a boss in Sonic Extreme for the Sega Saturn, but the game was cancelled, and after that, Fang wouldn't have another major appearance for 21 years. Sure, he had a couple cameos in games during his absence, like his little capsule toy in Shenmue, and notably appearing on a Wanted poster in Sonic Generations. A sly nod to how fans desperately wanted his return. However, in 2017 with the release of Sonic Mania, things were looking up. In Mirage Saloon Zone, you can do battle with an illusion of Fang created by the Heavy Magician. It's a very cool boss fight, but it also left as many fans wondering if we were ever going to see the real Fang again. Finally, after all this time, Fang is back in Sonic Superstars. Hired by Dr. Eggman to help find the Chaos Emeralds on the North Star Islands, they've already recruited a mysterious local girl named Trip to help guide them. Having to deal with these three, it looks like Sonic might have another Triple Trouble situation on his hands. Luckily, he brought his friends this time. So now you're all caught up and can fully appreciate Fang's glorious return to the spotlight. But that doesn't mean you'll be ready for whatever traps he's got prepared. I can't wait to see what tricks he's got up his sleeves this time. And remember, even though he's a bad guy, it's okay to be jealous of his cool hat.